Today I want to talk about Baidu, the Chinese search engine that's listed in New York. Baidu came to our attention following our report on stock compensation and because it's got one of the worst governance accounting and peer performance scores in the world. A thorough review of their report and accounts and US filings revealed a company with some of the worst governance practices that we've ever seen. In fact, it's so bad that we do not understand how any company with fiduciary responsibility, i.e. managing someone else's money, can actually own the stock at all. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the worst problems, but there are many more. Now, we must go through the disclaimer. First, under Hong Kong SFC regulations, we're not allowed to make recommendations, and at no point should anyone consider this to be investment advice. However, if you are thinking about investing or trading in Baidu, we think you should pay serious attention to the following. First, if you own the ADR, which is how most investors own shares in Baidu, you should realise that this is phantom stock. It has no rights to anything. No rights to dividends, no rights to the underlying assets, no rights to appoint directors, and no rights to turn up a shareholders meeting. But then again, they don't have shareholder meetings. It's fair to say that management has total control over the company and 100% ownership. In fact, they have no obligation to the ADR shareholders at all. Our second problem is the accounting risk. There are multiple related party transactions, lots of non-core investments, and all sorts of slightly obscure accounting techniques are being used to value the assets on the balance sheet. In fact, it's almost a full-time job just to keep up with the SEC filings being used to cover the company. Third, their very modest audit fees and tax payments make us wonder just how closely the report and accounts do follow the business reality. Finally, even if you don't care about governance and you're not worried about the accounting risk, their underlying performance appears to be flagging. It's far inferior to their peers and we suggest there is no point in owning the stock. Ultimately, given the risks involved, we can't understand why anyone would want to own this stock. The fact that it's in the MSCI ESG index we think is a complete travesty. Now, there's a lot more to this story, and if you'd like to know more, please visit our website or send us an email. Thank you for your time.